What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful people of the Crasher community? How are you guys doing today? So, in this video, we are going to be addressing something that is far from beautiful. In fact, it is downright ugly, asinine, and yet another reason as to why you'll never see your boy support Twitch a second in his life. What we have here is the following. Twitch streamer unable to ban Twitch staff after they gaslit him in chat. Let's dive into this. This is some fucked up shit. A Twitch streamer was left visibly distressed after a Twitch staff member joined his live stream and began telling him off, with the streamer then expressing how much the interaction triggered his anxiety, especially when realizing he was unable to ban the staff member from chat. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you read that right. You heard that right. Even if you have a Twitch staff member being inflammatory, such as what we're going to be getting into here, you can't ban them from chat. So essentially, they get a free pass to crap all over whoever they want. Like, that is just extremely fucked up and highly unfair across the boards. Twitch staff member Seth Hendricks joined Harris Heller's stream when the content creator was discussing the recent controversy surrounding the platform in regards to its branded content guidelines, which, by the way, is complete fucking ass, I may add, but I already made a video to give my full thoughts on that. Links will be down below for those that are curious. The staff member then commented in the chat, No one is saying you're wrong about anything, just you have so many assumptions that are way off. Now, you want to know what I find really way off about this statement? Is how the two sentences contradict each other. Like, you're here saying that no one is saying that he's in the wrong, yet you say that his assumptions are way off, which is definitely another way of saying they're wrong. So, which is it? Is he wrong, or is he not wrong? Heller then began showing signs of discomfort before stating, I'm happy to be wrong, but just tell me I'm wrong. Don't tell me I'm wrong and then say I'm not saying you're wrong. I don't understand why we're having this conversation. If Twitch is trying to fix its appearance with streamers, you can't come into a streamer's chat. Heller then showed more discomfort before stating, I want to end my stream right now because I feel so uncomfortable by getting gaslit by Twitch staff on my live stream. Like, what is happening here? And you know what? I echo the same question. What in the ever-loving hell is happening in this scenario? Like, this guy here is trying to do his job. He's trying to live stream to not only entertain his audience, but to also try and make a living for himself day to day. Yet, here you are as one of the Twitch staff, one of the staff to his employers being Twitch, coming on to this poor man's stream and being a complete asshole to him, trying to gaslight him and trying to mindfuck him with a bunch of contradictory word salad, word vomit bullshit. Like, honestly, I'm just gonna call it like I see it. This is straight-up harassment. Uh, but guys, it gets even worse. And there is a tweet that's embedded in this article that's going to have a video clip that I'm gonna play for you guys shortly. But what we have here is the following. Hey guys, yeah, this was super weird and my social anxiety was sky hi but people deal with way worse on stream every day it's not a huge deal i just shut down stream and played outside with my daughter instead 10 out of 10 would recommend don't send any hate seth's way not worth it and this right here was a quote tweeted response to ted ward that said and i quote a twitch staff member came into harris heller's stream and harassed him for almost 10 minutes Harris tried to ban him, but you cannot ban Twitch staff from a chat on Twitch. WTF. And now, let's go ahead and let's roll the footage. I love you, but I would also love to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, one time. The but is that I think you have a lot of good ideas, but you're missing so much. No is saying you're wrong about anything. Maybe, is that no one? Is that a typo? No one's saying you're wrong about anything. You just have so many assumptions that are way off. No one's saying you're wrong about anything. You just have so many assumptions that are wrong. <laughs> I don't understand those two sentences going side by side. I mean, I love I love you guys over Twitch. No hate over here, but we're all frustrated. And honestly, coming into a stream and saying, sorry man, you're wrong, doesn't fix anything. I'm happy to be told I'm wrong. I'm not upset about it, but I know a lot of people making assumptions are making wrong guesses. Talk to people, be open about stuff and fix stuff. Again, not saying you're wrong. Not saying you're wrong, but then a minute and a half ago, he said, you just have so many assumptions that are way off. 
how do you say I'm way off, but then you say I, I'm not saying you're wrong? That's what that said. And I'm happy to be wrong, but if you think I'm wrong, just tell me I'm wrong. Don't tell me I'm wrong and then say I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> Seth, I don't understand why we're having this conversation. If, if Twitch is trying to fix its, its how it, its appearance with streamers, like, you can't come into a streamer's chat, hijack their entire stream, tell them, you didn't say the word wrong, but you said, you're way off, which is a s synonymous with you're wrong, and then argue with me when I said, I'm fine with being wrong, said, nobody told you you're wrong. You literally told me I was wrong. Stop telling me you didn't say, I have, I have a chat history. <laughs> We saw that you said that. And again, it's fine. Like I'm trying to drop the conversation. It's just weird that now you're like hijacking my chat and making this weird. Like I wanna end my stream right now because I feel so uncomfortable with being gaslit by a tw by Twitch chat, by Twitch staff on my live stream. Like what is happening here? I just banned him. I, wait, I, can I not ban you? I hit the ban button and then you chatted again anyway. Can you... You cannot ban staff. Oh my gosh. You tried to ban me? Of course I tried to ban you. Anybody would get banned for doing what you're doing right now. This is so weird. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream. I love you guys. I, I can't, I can't focus right now. I gotta go. He then tried to ban the staff member from the chat before quickly realizing he is unable to do so. Part of the system that Twitch has in place is that staff cannot be removed or banned from streams, meaning that Harris was unable to do anything about the situation despite it triggering his social anxiety in a big way. And see, that right there just further reiterates what I had said earlier, that this right here is straight up harassment. Like, imagine having that much power that you can go out of your way to single out any Twitch streamer that you have a vendetta and a bias against and go into their chat and start spamming harassment and trying to, like, gaslight them over some fucked up shit. And the thing is, is that typically when it comes to streamers, when something like that does take place, they have the right and ability to block the commenter that is being harassing and, you know, just being an overall asshole. But what happens when it is a Twitch staff member? You can't remove the asshole from that situation, therefore making your stream pretty much derail. Like, that Twitch staff ended up taking over the Twitch stream without actually being there in person. Like, do you guys understand how fucked up that is? And do you understand even more so why I hate Twitch with a burning passion? In the aftermath, Heller took to Twitter to explain what happened and how he was left feeling afterward. Hey guys, yeah, this was super weird and my social anxiety was sky high, but people deal with way worse on stream every day. It's not a huge deal. I just shut down stream and played outside with my daughter instead 10 out of 10 would recommend now before I continue with the last bit here let me just say this is that while some might not think that this is as big a deal you got to understand the optics in this you got to understand what is actually the big details in this this isn't just random trolls that you can block easily after they say something inflammatory this is a fucking twitch staff member abusing their power and going out of the way to harass people into literally cutting off stream early so that is a pretty big deal in my honest opinion. And let me also say this as well. What might not be a big deal for one person may be the end of the world equivalent for another, okay? So you got to understand how another person feels before casting judgment on them and saying, oh, you're just overreacting or oh, you're just underreacting. People have different ways of reacting and showing how they feel. People have different ways of coping. And the fact that this guy was so calm, or at least as calm as possible, to be able to handle himself the way that he did during this on-the-spot interaction, I gotta give massive fucking props to this guy. However, Heller did then state that he does not want his followers or anyone else sending hate towards the staff member, writing that it is not worth it. So let me just say this. I myself would never condone any type of brigading, harassment, threats, etc. But I'm also going to say this, you reap what you sow. 
You get back what you put out. If you're going to put out being a jerk, you're going to be treated like a jerk. If you're going to be that snot-nosed rat bastard punk that kicks an active hornet's nest, then don't turn around and suddenly cry to mommy and daddy because you're the fucking dumbass that got yourself covered in hornet stings after doing something you shouldn't have done. But before I end the video, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say something personally to Harris Heller. I am sorry that you went through this, and I hope you are feeling better. It's bad enough with all of the fucking shit that has taken place in recent times when it comes to Twitch, and this right here definitely doesn't help their reputation. In fact, it makes it get even worse. And you know what? Twitch is fucking doing this shit to themselves. They are literally screwing themselves in the ass crack. Like, Twitch, at this point, you're setting a flame to your own empire, and it is going to burn down. So, if that is something that you want, then by all means, keep fucking around. But you're gonna find out sooner rather than later that you fucking around all this time is not gonna net you good results. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I felt a little bit extra. I had to get a little bit more off of my chest because, oh my f oh my god, I really, really hate Twitch. I really, really, really hate Twitch for all the crap that they have done. All of the harassment bullshit that they have put their streamers through. You know, that's like the equivalent of an employee being harassed by their supervisor or even their manager. This is a textbook example of that. But with that being said though, ladies and gentlemen, before I ramble on any further, I'm cutting things off. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? All that good stuff. Either way, I love hearing back from you beautiful people. And that's it for the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Fuck Twitch. And I will see you next time.